Hey what's up guys, my name of course is Wings and welcome back to my mediocre channel. So I wanted to make this video real quick because well not real quick it's gonna it's gonna be a minute. I wanna talk about some things about the channel that I never really talked about before. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail about um, what I wanna do with the channel, my life, where the channel's headed, what I'm currently doing with it, and what it's gonna be turning into. So Recently, coming back to YouTube after a while, I've been playing a lot of just, you know, whatever I could until some new games came out, and Far Cry 5 came out, and A Way Out came out, which both are fantastic games, they are, but they don't bring in any views. I mean, apparently, even though they're new and trending, you guys don't really seem to want to see it. Maybe you don't just you just don't want to see it, or you don't want to see it for me, or maybe I'm just fucking paranoid and it's not popping up in your sub box or some shit. I have no idea. But with that being said, obviously the YouTube algorithm does not favor me right now for that kind of stuff, and it seems that I was looking through my videos and the only videos that I've seen as a whole that did great were the Skyrim videos. No, I'm not converting my entire channel to Skyrim. But I also looked, and it was one particular video of uh, Resident Evil that got over 300 views. Obviously, these views aren't a lot to the you know average YouTuber who has anywhere from a thousand to oh, let's say 60 million subscribers. But I'm doing my best, and I'm trying to get there. Obviously, I don't see myself getting there anytime soon. I, I'm working really hard at YouTube. I'm doing the absolute best I can. I mean, I have a very strict schedule where I was getting up at about 5 or 6 a.m. to record two videos, get one edited or both edited while getting two videos uploaded so that I could get them ready to go up the next day and still make it to work on time. I'm absolutely sick absolutely fucking sick and I'm being completely honest with you guys absolutely sick and fucking tired of working a shitty job at a dead-end company that's going absolutely nowhere yes I could look for a different job would I get a different job or a better job probably not jobs are actually pretty hard to come by these days and where I live jobs are even more difficult to come by Especially when you go for interviews and you still don't get the fucking job. Like, if you get that far and you make it to the interview and you give off a good impression. Like, I'm, I'm getting off track. Anyways, I want to do YouTube as a career. I do. I'm... Okay, let me let me just go to this. I watched um, an older video. One of John Wolfe's older videos. It wasn't really older. It was a year ago. But I watched one of his videos and in the video he explained a lot of things. Such as, you know, his decision to put his face in every thumbnail. And... Um, that there is absolutely no shame in making your titles and your uh, your thumbnails click worthy, making them interesting, making them in a way that makes as as a YouTuber. If you want to do this as a career, you have to do that. You have to make your stuff. You know, you have to make it look pleasing. You have to make it want to be. You have to make people want to click on it. Because if people don't want to click on it and watch your video, then you're not getting any revenue from it. Obviously, I'm not getting any revenue as it is because YouTube's really dumb decision to weed out the smaller channels. No, it's it was to weed out fake channels and stuff, but all it really did was divide smaller channels from bigger channels and make it that much harder for smaller people to get their bearings and make it on YouTube. Now, I've been told in the past by, well, eh, I wouldn't really say more people. It, it was really one person, but then again, me being a small of a channel, one person can really make an impact on my channel because there's not a lot of people that comment in general. But people have told me on the channel, you know, I've had some good stuff and I have some bad stuff. People say, you know, my titles were clickbaity or um, in the older versions of my channel, older areas, they didn't like being told to subscribe in the beginning or like the video or any, any of that stuff. And then some people they say they don't like being told that in general, but you go to a bigger YouTuber, you're perfectly fine with him begging for likes and begging you to slap the subscribe button and begging you to comment and all this other stuff. But if I do it, it's wrong. That that doesn't that's that no. No. Stop it. Stop it. I wanna do YouTube as a career. I wanna be able to, 
make content for people to enjoy and laugh at at no cost to them but still be able to make money from it so that I can do it enough to you know support myself and entertain I want to be an entertainer that's basically what this job is that's what YouTube is you're an entertainer um, whether it's comedic gaming whether you're a comedian an ASM artist um, you make music or it, it doesn't matter you're an entertainer on YouTube that's what you do and that's what what you should get paid for and there's always going to be people who criticize there's always going to be critics there's always going to be people who think that this would be better for your channel or that you're doing it wrong or that you need to listen to all of them don't listen to them do what you want to on your channel because at the end of the day if you're you know you're doing good on youtube and you're making some money here and there but you're not happy is it really worth it you're it, at that point you're in the same boat that i'm in at the shitty job that i really hate like that it's the same concept I want to do YouTube because it makes me happy. I want to do YouTube because I enjoy making videos for you guys. I enjoy making content and I enjoy the experience, the ride, and the fun that I have while doing it. But it's really discouraging doing all of this knowing that I'm not getting anywhere with it. Now, I'm not blaming you guys at all. I'm not blaming you guys. It's not your fault. In a, in a, in a way, it's... No, actually not in a way. It is YouTube's fault. It is very much YouTube's fault that my channel has not picked up or went anywhere. Now, I'm not the type of person that really likes to beg for things. Like, I don't like going on people's videos and, you know, promoting my channel. I don't like going to videos and begging to get in their shout-outs or um, constantly posting my shit all over the place. Now, obviously, advertising is something you should do. But I'm ne I've never been the type of person to do that, nor have I really been that good at it. I just, I feel that I should be able to upload videos that pop up in your sub box and you watch them. It's, it's that simple. What I don't understand is, okay, I get it. I'm a small YouTuber. I know, I know how it is when you discover a new small YouTuber. You're not used to his comedy yet. You're not used to his personality. You're just, you know, learning about him and it's just starting. And you get, you kind of lose interest halfway through you click off the video. I understand that. I do. I, I've done that. I dust. When I first started watching Don Wolf, he was new to me. I didn't really understand his humor. It was different. So I never really finished in many of his videos, but I started watching more and more of him. I got more used to him. I started enjoying his comedy. I started liking what he did and I kept watching. I haven't subscribed and I don't know if I'm going to just because I don't watch him enough to really need to subscribe. But he still pops up in my recommended all the time and one subscription for me isn't gonna matter that much, but the watch time that he gets from me is what's gonna you know, the views and the watch time he gets from me is what's gonna really help. Along with, you know, all other fifty thousand people. Anywho, so like I said, I wanna be able to do this as, as a job I'm not not a job in the sense of oh I'm running rag and I'm working my ass off and I hate it a job in the sense of I want to be able to do this for you guys and still be able to make a living I'm not trying to just like get that super easy sweet relaxing life because any YouTuber, any YouTuber that's big will tell you that this is not the easiest job. Like, there are way easier jobs, this is not the easiest job. There are way harder jobs, and I would know, I've been there, done that, and I've worked them. I've worked excruciating jobs in my life. I have. I know how that is. Yeah, I absolutely do. And if you're out there watching this, and you've done those kind of jobs, I feel so bad for you, and I sympathize with you, because I've done that. Okay, I know how it is. 12-hour shifts, no breaks, on your feet all night, and scorching factories stacking boards that were 30 times hotter than it was in the factory it's bad okay I know how that is I don't want to have to be that person my whole life I don't want to have to struggle and scrape the bottom to get to where I want to be I want to be able to sit in front of a camera record something that I genuinely like and post it to the world for you guys to watch laugh at and enjoy and be compensated for my time as an entertainer. I mean, there's just, there's not much more to say. I mean, you can't, putting it directly, yes, I would like to be able to sit on my ass some days and record a 30 minute to an hour video and be paid for it. It sounds bad. It sounds like I'm not willing to work or anything, but you don't see what goes into it off camera and you don't know how many hours it takes to get certain videos up, to make them funny, to get them ready, 
you can't just sit down in front of a camera and get views it doesn't work like that you have to be entertaining you have to be funny it's you got to do something that makes your video worth watching and I'm learning that I'm trying to figure out what is going to be watched I want to I'm trying to work it in a way that I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, and I know how to get there. So, with this, what, 11 minute video so far, the announcement of this video that I'm going to make is that I am permanently switched, well I wouldn't say permanently, it's for the time being, my channel is going to be only horror games. From here until it gets old or until you guys want to see something different because my horror games are what does good my horror games is what gets the most views and that's just what goes and with that being said I want to play Far Cry I don't like having to wait to record it every day and I record extra long sessions just so I can get my money's worth out of it and actually play it but to force myself to wait and to force myself to play the game a certain way so that I'm not wasting too much time for a video I'm not getting my money's worth out of it and I'm not enjoying it as much as I could because I'm trying to rush through certain things for the video because I don't have all day to record it so I'm gonna be limiting my channel to only horror games from here on out until further notice unless instructed otherwise by you guys if you want to see something different i'll do that but like i said until then it's gonna be like that now there will be exceptions skyrim seemed to did very well skyrim did very very well now the skyrim series was pretty clickbait but i didn't necessarily lie on the thumbnails or the video like yeah, the, the first video, the title was a little misleading, but it didn't, it's not that it didn't tell you what was in the video, but it's not that it did either. Like, it was just a funny title, and a funny, goofy title represented the video. The video was funny and goofy. The thumbnail was more or less a representation of the mods that I had installed. The second video was the thumbnail consisted of a little bit more of what was actually in the video and so the title the third one consisted of nothing but what was in the video and so did the title but I got shit for the third video saying that it was you know cringy and that every youtuber in existence well you know just because you're mad that you didn't do something like that and get that many views doesn't mean you should criticize me for it obviously I did something right if a lot of people watched it thought it was funny and a lot of people did a lot of people watched that video and thought it was hilarious I mean literally and I was happy with that I was happy that I was able to get something out like that and it got more views than any video my channel has done and people actually enjoy it and I'm, I'm happy with that now obviously my channel is for everyone and I don't expect everyone to enjoy my channel if you don't I'm sorry but you don't have to stay I'm not begging you to stay if you don't want to stay you don't have to but if you enjoy my sh yeah, about the shit, <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I was going to say stuff and shit at the same time. But if you enjoy my stuff, then stick around. You know, it's, it's going to get better. It's always the calm before the storm. And when the storm hits, it gets fucking crazy. That doesn't sound like a good way to put it. <laughs> but if you'll just bear with me and give me some time. If you'll just, you know not leave but like just just hang in there for just a little bit longer and I promise you you won't regret it now I've noticed that my subscription counter has been like teetering a little bit like I'll go from 110 to 111 the mech to 110 the mech to 111 now I don't know if it's just like if it's bugged and one keeps going away or it's not showing up but it just it's a little frustrating of people like I was getting subscribers. I was still getting subscribers back before I started uploading videos again. And then I come back to the channel and I start putting my heart and soul back into the channel, but even harder this time, asking for less and not pushing my Patreon nearly as hard and not with a partnership and not like I don't have merchandise or t-shirts or shit anymore and 
not begging for anything and just doing this channel to make people laugh and then people leave like when I first started this channel and I was acting like a bit of a sellout I was getting views and subscribers but when I come back and I'm being genuine and I'm trying to actually make something worth watching then you guys leave that's pretty fucked up and doesn't make any sense maybe it's just me but I think that's a little fucked up. I think that's a little, it's a little messed up and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, sorry, I'm just, maybe I'm just a little salty about that. But it, it's, it's just, it's really annoying putting everything you have, everything you have into something that you really, really enjoy only to have it backfire in your face. I mean, that's a, that's a terrible feeling. It really is. And I know terrible feelings. I have them all the time. A lot of shit. A lot of dumb shit. So, I've been rambling for a while now. And I think I've said my piece. I've said enough to matter. If there's something I left unsaid, maybe I'll put it in the description. Or I'll, put it in, I'll make a comment. Or maybe I'll make a whole another video if there's enough to talk about. But until then, I've got some horror games to record. I have a, I have a, a few of them picked out on my PC. And I'm going to be getting a graphic card at some point, so I'm going to be able to play much better ones. But for now, we're going to play some of the ones I have installed. And we'll see where it goes from there. So if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate the fuck out of you for actually listening. And I hope you enjoy the future of this channel and the content that's coming. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in whatever I upload next. Goodbye, guys.